Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're on site here in my shop in Utah Springs, Kansas, and I've got a product here called the Alpha TIG 200X. And we've done videos on this before, but I just want to let you know that there's been some changes made, and for the better. Uh, for example, uh, we used to have to use a fitting called an M16 fitting, uh, and this was pretty difficult, but we managed to, uh, to manufacture this through CK Worldwide, and it's a connector for the TIG torch. Uh, now, any model that you see in this, 2014 and older, still has this connection. So if you order one of our kits, and I'll cover that in just a minute, then make sure you know whether it's this connection, and I'm holding this up. Now there's a cover for this, uh, it's an insulator. And one of the new enhancements that you'll see on this machine is a DENS connector, and that's this right here. So this DENS connector plugs in, twists, and there's a hole here, depending on what uh, torch cable you buy. And I'm gonna go over the package with you, but this is a really good feature. So dense connector and twist. So you can, you can take this off and change torches immediately. So let me put these aside again, 2014, 2015, and newer. Now the old machine, the 2014, had eight knobs on it. And this particular machine has one feature that's been added to it. Now that feature is uh, for AC welding. And what it is is AC uh, frequency. So we're going to give you three different settings on here. Uh, this goes from 40 hertz, and it has a very specific sound. So if you're at 40 hertz, it sounds like a Harley, kind of uh, an idle. Uh, then we're going to go to 120 hertz, and that's my preferred setting. Uh, why? I don't know. You may like 100 or 140, but 120 hertz, the arc will choke down, and it's a pretty tight arc. Now, you can turn this thing up to 250 hertz, and it's really whining, and it'll choke the arc down even tighter. Now, that's a pretty tight arc, and it's a pretty harsh arc, so you got to determine whether you really need to be up to the 250 hertz. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on, and I'm going to do three different settings and uh, demonstrate them to you. Okay, now I, I have three aluminum plates here, and they're 16 gauge material. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use my Easy Wipe. It's an isopropyl alcohol wipe and get off all the oil residue. And that isopropyl is uh, it's wetted into this rag right here, so it works pretty good. I'm going to do three samples for you. Uh, the first one is set at 40 hertz, and I've got the machine set on AC. Uh, maximum that I'm going to need for this, it, it's probably uh, going to weld at somewhere around 60 amps. So I set the machine right about 100 amps, just give me a li little extra to play with. Especially welding aluminum, when you first start, you, know, you have to heat up the material before you can get a puddle. So I'm using my 9F, this is a CK9F torch. So you can flex this around just about any way that you want. And I've only got a 1 16th tungsten for this, and that's really all I need. So here's 40 hertz. You know, the, uh, the startup of this is uh, pretty erratic on 40 hertz, but after the material heats up, you know, you can, you can weld it pretty nice. Now I'm at, at the end right here, so I'm going to back off. Okay, so you could, you could hear it and you could see, you know, the start on this at 40 hertz, it's a pretty soft arc. It's not, uh, it's not very aggressive. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine up to 120 hertz and then uh, demonstrate to you. So 
certainly more of a stable arc. A little better sound, I like it much better. And you can see I'm just dabbing, same technique. Okay, so I welded that with 120 hertz. I, I liked it better. I could see it choke down a little bit. It's not too harsh, not too soft. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing up to 250 hertz, the maximum. Again, this is the new feature that was put on the 2015 model. So I'll turn it up to 250 and then uh, I'll do another demo for you. Here we go. Yeah, much more aggressive. Okay, so I stand corrected. This machine goes up to 200 hertz. I had originally stated 250 hertz. It's 200 hertz. And, and you could see it was more aggressive. So let me, let me recap this. This is a, a 40 hertz setting, 120 hertz setting, and a 200 hertz setting. All three look fine. I still prefer around 120, maybe 130. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's just the sound itself, but the, you know, the all three look pretty good. Now, the thing about aluminum, you gotta be very cautious on it. If you take a look at the very tail end uh, of these, you gotta add a little extra filler material. Now, this machine lights off at 10 amps, it also cuts out at 10 amps, so you gotta be careful and add just a little bit extra filler, otherwise you end up with a little pinhole at the end. Now, one of the things I'd like to describe is that we had created these kits because we certainly don't, we don't like the accessories that come with these machines. And uh, whenever you come on take time and you bring your machines, you're going to get the truth. So the accessories are not very good. They come with this machine. We put together at well.com a kit that matches your needs. Okay, so here's, here's what that is. The kit is this torch. It's American made. It's a CK9 flex head torch. And so this comes with the right connector. Make sure you describe whether it's a 2014 or 2015 model. There's no price difference. The second thing it comes out with is we have a regulator that's a very uh, high quality Chinese regulator. It is an import, but it, it's an upscale version. And it comes in, in CFH instead of liters per minute. Uh, so we like this as well. And this is a kit that takes the guesswork. Uh, you have all of your accessories in here, and this is a gas lens kit. So, you know, most of the time you're going to want a gas lens kit instead of standard cups because it just gives better gas coverage. So, we have uh, 040 diameter, 116th, and 332, all the cups, tungsten. We've got the short, medium, and long back caps, and then you've got a nice toolbox. Now the only reason that you're going to lose tungsten is, is likely that you're going to dip it and contaminate it. When you grind it, your tungsten gets shorter. So when that happens, just order a package of tungsten. You don't order this kit ever again. You just order the fillers for it. So just, just know that that's available to you. Now again, the reason we put this torch on here is because this is the torch that will handle 80% of your needs. So 80% of the time, this is the best torch. And if you run this at 200 amps, for a long period of time, you certainly will burn this up. So just want to let you know, uh, there are other torches. If, if you're using the high end of this machine all the time, first of all, be cautious because you got to remember, this is not an industrial machine. Okay, this is a, an economy type machine. So it's designed for the beginner, uh, for the home enthusiast, things like that. So if you start running production on there, you're probably going to challenge this machine. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. Tig.